Welcome to this short video about the gains of a 4x4 MIMO antenna configuration. I'm Ansi Bila, Technology Marketing Manager at Rodon Schwarz for Mobile Network Testing. I now want to discuss about all possible improvements that are offered by a 4x4 MIMO antenna configuration, which means 4 transmits at the base station side and 4 receive on the UE side. On the left picture we are at the cell center somehow, so 4x4 MIMO can be used here. We are using four streams uh, on, and they are using, again, the same radio resources and this improves the data rate close to the base station. If we are moving with the UE further out, we can use 4 transmit rank 2. That means we are using two streams now here. We only see two colors, green and red, two streams. So this, uh, these two streams are transmitted by two antennas each. This gives a gain two. If we are going really to the cell edge, far out, we can still use four transmitters, but only rank one. So we are using just one stream now, uh, and this is only one color here visible. And we use four transmit antennas. This is called transmit diversity. You see here also the transmission mode two, which is transmit diversity. And this has a big impact on cell edge performance. Last but not least, uh, we see also here multi-user MIMO. Multi-user MIMO is using 2x2 two two MIMO for two users in parallel using the same resources. Multi-user MIMO is not really visible in today's mobile networks so far up to now. Um, it appears to be quite complex to find the right pairs of U the UEs because they need to have some relation to each other, some decorrelation uh, to each other. So all in all, you see that there is much more improvement in capacity than only 4x4 MIMO in a favorable position. And we try to visualize the complete gain potential in the following graph. The graph shows the throughput versus the coverage, and what you see now in blue is the situation with legacy LTE smartphones, so 2x2 two two MIMO. In good possession, we can use two streams, rank 2, and at the cell edge, we can only use one stream, and this is rank 1, so 2 transmit, rank 1. Now you see what comes on top if we have four transmitters at the base station and four receivers on the UE side. On the left you see a very high throughput close to the base station. This is exactly our 4x4 MIMO gain. So four transmitters, rank 4, four different streams. Rank 3, three of course is part of this curve as well. But what is more important is what's happening at the cell edge. LTE networks are normally planned for a stable data connection uh, for to transmit rank 1. So the dotted line here shows the typical border of a typical LTE side grid. Exactly here we see a big uh, improvement. So roughly 3 dB we can gain here at the cell edge and this really helps a lot in data throughput at the cell edge. Of course we have also the gain in the middle here with 4 transmits rank 2. In summary, we can say that the air interface resources are more efficiently used here and this translates into capacity enhancements all over the network, not only close to the base station, but all over the network. If you want to know more, please visit our website, mobilenetworktesting.com or if you are interested in more technology discussions, please visit our blog. Thank you.